Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Hey. Welcome back to Fat Lady Chats. How y'all doing? Um, so tonight it is Halloween. Of course, everybody know and you know to turn your time back later on tonight for tomorrow, right? Okay. So my husband and I, we just want to wish y'all a happy Halloween. Please be safe and uh, enjoy yourself tonight because it's been a long time since we had uh, Halloween on a Saturday. Then also, guys, I want y'all to look out for the blue full moon tonight, okay? And just be careful out there. Um, anyway, so we're going to talk about some scary stuff when we, when we growed up, um, when we were, um, you know, kids, um, about Halloween. I'm going to start off first. Um, my first thing is, what was the most scary movie for me growing up um, um, around this time of the year? The Exorcist. We talking about the old one. The Exorcist was the most scary one for me. I mean, I could not sleep, you guys, for about maybe a week or two. That's when I was growing up little. And Halloween was just totally different for us. I mean, I can remember the time uh, back home, we used to go, we used to walk streets to streets and people had their house all decorated, be dark, you know, you just get you really in the scary mood. And I think that's why I always liked that type of holiday, Halloween, because I had the best time. And it's sad that how things have changed. People put stuff in uh, kids' uh, candy, and now we got this COVID going on. They can't really enjoy themselves. You know, just to have the fright of being scared and going to different houses and stuff like that. So, anyway, so we're going to switch over to my husband here and find out what did he do for Halloween when he was younger. Well, when we was growing up in East Atlanta, uh, uh, we had a lot of kids in the neighborhood, for one thing. Each street, our little neighborhood, it consisted of about like eight main streets. And we had like eight to 12 kids on each of those streets. It's not like that anymore over there. We played in the streets. We went to the, uh, we went to elementary together. We went to the boys club together. We even went to church together in my neighborhood. So... Uh, uh, we just went from block to block. We had bags of candy. We also participated at one of the functions at the church. It used to be something at the church. We used to bought for candy, uh, um, apple bar for apples and play little games at the church and stuff. I remember that. But one of my most scariest movies when I was growing up, and I still watch it off and on up to this day, was Friday the 13th, the first one, Jason. And... He has been a household name for my family for a long time. And uh, I wish they would have never started moving him to uh, Manhattan. He took over Manhattan after like uh, like, the, like the 6th or 7th, uh, like uh, uh, Friday the 13th. It started snatching away from the horror part of it. But uh, I think, Friday, I know Friday the 13th was my most scariest movie when I was growing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was one of mine. And I even uh, posted on Facebook. They they showed it um, about two nights ago. That's the one that y'all grew up on them old, them other ones that look kind of cheesy. But the one I grew up on came out in 1980, 1980, Friday the 13th, and 1981. And and Michael Myers, the same thing, you know. Um, he was scary, you know, um, as, you know, when we were growing up as well. Man, I tell you, but y'all, um, you know, of course we know things is, is different. Now the little kids got to wear the mask, you know, if they going out tonight and um, just be careful. I'm hoping that we see some kids. We just going to probably uh, go outside a little bit and, and let them know we do have some candy and then we got somewhere else to go later on. Um, but, um, you know, I know some people on the religious sense don't really believe in Halloween, but it's all about the kids to me. What you think, boo? Hmm. It is a few scriptures in the Bible, the Holy Bible. It says about, uh, like, if you worship, like, any engraving images and stuff like that, which is, like, uh, the goons, the goblins, the witches, the ghosts, uh, the skeleton or remains and stuff like that. So, what I have came... Uh, like in my spirituality, I'm not a religious guy. I'm more on a spiritual basis. And uh, I just think once you don't invite these spirits into your home, you still, if you are a praying person or God-fearing person, 
at the end of the Halloween and if you feel that you have spirits in your home or whether you feel like it or not, you say, Lord, I ask that you remove anything inside of my home unclean or ungodly. And, uh, I think my God will, uh, he will honor your request and your prayers and remove those spirits out. Mm -hmm. I agree totally. And Oh, you know, Halloween always been one of my favorites. Um, I've been doing this dressing out forever. And uh, I got so many costumes, it, it is ridiculous. But I think it's fun. You can be something that, you know, you know, uh, that you're not. You can express yourself on that day. I don't consider it as an evil holiday. Um, I think it's just a lot of fun for the kids, you know, get their candies. It, you know, I remember... Um, I used to try to scam a lot, you know, whatever, because I, I enjoyed that when I was young. I, I, I love to go to folks' houses that they scare the crap out of me, make me run. And, you know, and you just laugh because, you know, those are really people and stuff like that. It was just fun, you know, especially the people who decorate their house when you really scared to go up. You'd be like, oh, oh, you're a little kid. you scared to go up to their porch. Okay. That used to be the best thing. And, you know, um... I'm like a little child at heart anyway. I think for a long time, even with my sisters then, we used to, um, even we were too old, like 15 years old, we'd be on our knees and still dressing out and going trick or treat. You know, it was just the fun of it. I just never got out of it. And I just hate that what we going through now. And I know COVID is rising. Um, it's really sad, you know, that this is happening. But, you know, we're going to have to learn how to adapt and just start wearing these masks a little bit more than we do, you know, for us that. But we just want to talk to y'all a little bit about the blue moon. That's going to be full moon tonight. And happy Halloween to you all. Don't forget to subscribe to our page. Um, hit that like button if you like everything. And y'all have a <laughs> happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Be safe. Bye.